Welcome to chapter four. We're going to start diving into Resolve and actually looking at the color page and kind of how it's set up here. So here we are in the default view of the color page. I have a project loaded up that we'll get to here in a few minutes, but let's explore some of the big ideas behind the color page. If you're familiar with Resolve, you know that it's split up into multiple different pages and each of these pages has to do with a specific job in post-production. Starting from the left, we have the media page where we import and manage our media. We have the edit and cut pages where we actually put together our story in a timeline. We have the fusion page, which is for fancy things like VFX and graphics. And then we come to the color page. The idea behind the color page is to have a dedicated environment where you can focus on making the very best images you can make. So it kind of hides all the other things when it comes to moving things around, editing them on the timeline, hides all the audio, and it just gives you the tools that you need to do color grading. Now, this is a little bit different than using a color effect in something like the edit page, where you might do something like go up to your effects and grab something like contrast pop and drop it onto a clip, and then select the clip, go to the inspector, under effects, and you can adjust the parameters there. You can color grade a whole movie like that, but it's a lot of steps to even just start to adjust the colors of a clip. So the way that Resolve thinks about this is it just opens up this same timeline from your edit page into this dedicated environment, and you're looking at one image at a time, and anything that you mess with on the interface will adjust just the shot that you're looking at. This is a great way to work because it lets you move really fast. I can just hit up and down on the keyboard to move in between our shots. And we can quickly make our adjustments here in the color palettes down below and switch to a different shot. And we can move through our movie very, very quickly. Now, granted all the things that I just did, you probably would never do, but the whole environment is set up to give you the very best shot at adjusting color for your whole movie. We'll dive into all the specifics here as we get on. So for now, if this looks a little bit intimidating, if you haven't dove into the color page a lot, I know there's a lot of tools, but we're gonna go slow and walk through the major ones that you need to know in order to color grade your films.